Hey guys, this is Jeff. It's been a little while since I've shot a video on my solar power project. Uh, I've been having some issues and I've been trying to get them resolved, but I thought I'd shoot a short video just to kind of let you know where I'm at. And uh, my system is down and it's been down for several days. It worked well for about two weeks. And then I started having some funky issues. Uh, power company came out they had lost the power meter and they had some funny noises going on anyway i disconnected my system from the utility input and uh their problems seemed to have resolved so i started testing these inverters i have them off right now but i've had problems with this inverter one nearly from the get-go this com board right here i hadn't been able to get it to stay connected to my solar assistant it drops out and i've troubleshooted it uh with different cables different um uh, uh, heck i can't even get the right word different um hubs and the problem always followed this inverter so i've been talking to signature solar trying to get another com board uh i haven't gotten that yet inverter two with the ac off and this thing powered on i'm getting 200 vote 40 volts output and i'm getting three to four volts on my input that's with the input completely disconnected so there's somehow or another there's some back feed from this inverter onto this output I checked it on this inverter, zero volts. We're gonna talk about inverter three in a minute. Inverter four and inverter five with the output on, nothing connected. I've got them all disconnected. Outputs running 239, 240 volt, input at zero volts. So I think that's what I should have. So inverter two, I'm getting some feedback from the output circuit onto the input circuit. Inverter three, it was even worse. Um, what I have here is a direct short between the L on the output circuit and the L on the input circuit. So there's a direct short between those. There's no isolation. Now, if you ohm, and I ohmed between N, which in our case, you know, we in the US, we use that as L2, I get 1.2 mega ohms, but between the Ls, I get a direct short. So that means I'm back feeding into the power system. And so I had to disconnect all this. So now I'm, I'm dealing with uh, signature solar tech support to see what we need to do. Uh, probably gonna have to send some of these units back which that takes my whole system down because I I have to have four of these to run my system my house with the way I have it I don't have critical circuits panel I don't have a quick critical circuit panel I've got all the power from my property running through these inverters I have five inverters but I have to have four to run so if I had to send these two back, and they may make me send that one back, then I'll only have two inverters. I did buy a spare inverter from another vendor because Signature Solar didn't have any, that if I don't have to send that one back with the bad com board, just these two, I can probably put it in a circuit if the firmware is the same and get back up and running but that'll probably be another week or so my youngest son is getting married next weekend so major work on this is put on hold until after that but at any rate i just thought i'd kind of share with you since i haven't done an update lately you know troubleshooting this i took a lot of stuff loose because i, I had some noise and i took all my ferrites off trying to trace where that 
humming was coming from. And it wasn't until after I'd done all that that I discovered the short between the input and output on inverter three and the feedback on inverter two, which I think was the problem all along. So anyway, I'll give you some updates as I have them. But the system was working good for about two weeks. I was I was powering my entire home. I think one day I got 23 hours off grid service out of this. I had enough power during the day to power my home from the panels and charge this nine, uh, nine this battery bank of nine batteries. And it powered my home till about 6.30 one morning. And then I think probably about 7.30, the sun hit the panels and it kicked back over to the panels and started charging my batteries. But I'm back on the grid now. So at any rate, that's where we are.